When learning new skills or new tools as a cybersecurity professional, a lot of times learning those things is not as easy as a simple course dedicated to those things. Sometimes it is, but most times it's really not. Some tools or skills don't have certifications dedicated to it, especially if you're like in the mid to senior level or even sometimes at the entry level. Some things are just not things you just learn through a certification or something like that. You might have to actually do your research to learn these things on your own. And the certifications or trainings you might have done in the past might not have taught you these things. So a lot of times when we're looking to learn these things, I know personally that sometimes I find myself 10, 20, 30 tabs deep with resources, right? YouTube videos, blogs, you know, websites, maybe even Twitter pages or whatever the case may be, trying to find an answer, trying to learn this new skill or this new tool. Um, and a lot of times that could lead to what is termed as resource overloading. When you find yourself just having so many resources to refer to, but not really having one that can particularly teach you or one that you've specifically spent enough time diving into to learn what you're looking to learn. So in this video, I'm gonna give you one or two strategies that can help you with identifying good resources and effectively and efficiently learning those new skills and new tools when you don't have those curated courses or certifications available to you. With that being said, if you're new here, my name is Day. On this channel, I talk about cybersecurity, cloud security, and other life stuff. If you wanna see more of these videos, be sure to subscribe, like, and leave a comment down below. It really helps with the channel, and I really appreciate it. All of that aside, the very first thing you wanna do when you're looking for resources is to actually research these resources first. You don't wanna just go in and just like skim through sporadically. I know I'm very guilty of this. I'm looking for something, do a Google search, open like 10, 20 tabs, and then sporadically jump across these different tabs looking for an answer to my question or what I'm looking to learn. Then identify you know, the most rated or uh, the best resource for that thing you're looking to learn. It might be the one with you know, a very, very curated list of things you need to understand, maybe very short and concise, so maybe like a short video, depending on really how, you know, your best learning method is, right? I, I have a mix of both video and audio, so I typically use both mediums, but I try to find something that's very short, concise, um, or something that is just, that gets me straight to the point, right? So do your research first, identify three to five resources that meet this need you're looking for. So avoid, you know, having six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or more tabs open. Pick three to five that you think are good enough, maybe like two blogs, three videos, two videos, three blogs, whatever the case may be, right? It's three to five resources, right? No more than five. Like, that's kind of like the sweet spot. Matter of fact, three is actually the sweet spot, but just a little bit of indulgence there because you might have to do a little bit of digging for those resources. Once you've identified those resources, make sure to spend enough time on each of those resources. If you're gonna be reading a blog, make sure you like you read the blog from start to finish, if possible, or read the entire section covering what you're looking to understand or learn. Sometimes it's easy to get bored, maybe at the beginning of a blog or at the beginning of a video, and we immediately wanna just like skip around. Sometimes we tend to miss the details of what we're looking to learn just by being like, you know, skippy across like you know the blog and across the videos and it's something that we get accustomed to just because like we're so used to like you know a lot of really fast paced content that immediately gives us what we need but sometimes you might have to spend some time just spending some time reading some things you might not be interested in but eventually you might find what you're looking for. So spend enough time on one resource before jumping to another. Um, you don't wanna just like have like a bunch of like half read articles or blogs or half watch YouTube videos um, if you know those things actually cover the details you're looking for. So the main thing here is doing enough research about the resources you're looking for and then spending enough time on the resources you've chosen. If eventually any of those five resources you chose, which is very highly unlikely, don't meet the need that you're looking for, then do the process all over again you eventually find something. But in order to avoid the resource overloading, just pick specific resources um, at a time and use them to learn what you're looking to learn. Those are my tips. Uh, those help me on my day to day because I have to learn things ad hoc and I don't necessarily have the time to take a full on course or deep dive into specific things um, you know, ad hoc. But 
these tips have definitely helped me in my career so far. So I hope you find them useful. If you like the video, please, once again, be sure to subscribe if you're new and like the video. It helps with the algorithm. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.